Hey everybody, I had to push this video out. It's not my normal videos that you will see on a Wednesday. Uh, the reason I pushed this out, I had a couple things that happened to me this weekend regarding a couple of these subscribers. One figured it out on their own, what they did, I don't know. But the other one, I had to share with them what to do and it, it worked for them. So I thought I'd share this with the group. Uh, the first one, though, scared the Jahibis out of me because I got back from a... Um, uh, not super late, but a Christmas party on Friday. So Saturday, I'm having breakfast at home, having a cup of coffee, looking at my phone, going through emails, and somebody made a comment, and I m misunderstood the email, basically saying, hey, I was trying to do the brush techniques that you taught. Uh, if you've never seen that, I'll put the link in the video. But you said, my history brush doesn't work, but I thought it, it said doesn't exist or whatever. And I got freaked out. And if you ever want to see... Of course, I couldn't record that. Uh, a guy in his 70s, not walked downstairs to his studio, but literally jumped out of my chair, ran down because I'm thinking, oh, no, oh, no, don't tell me. Adobe took that feature out. And I and I went in and booted up my computer and got into Photoshop. And there, you know, the latest and greatest, the history brush was there. I checked it out. Yes, it works. I couldn't understand what the heck was going on. Well, it turned out that the person couldn't use the history brush. It showed up in the toolbar, but it wouldn't work. Then I got an email back that said, hey, uh, I got it. So, so I didn't ask what went wrong, but um, it's fine. The other person, which again, I'm not going to mention a name, uh, had an issue, and I gave him a four-step process how to fix this. So in case this happens to you once in a while where Photoshop is acting really sort of goofy or maybe even just crashing and doing some weird stuff for you, um, walk through this and again. I'm not an IT person, uh, you know, that knows this. If you know hardware really well in that, if you can make comments on this stuff, that would be helpful. But here's a four step process if things are not working properly in Photoshop and things are crashing and acting goofy. Number one, uninstall Photoshop. Number two, shut your total computer down and wait a while. Step number three, run around your computer two times. Okay, I'm being sarcastic on number three. Number three, boot up your computer, and then number four is reinstall Photoshop and see if that takes care of the problem, and it did for this person. So that was a for me on that one because anything past that, I have no idea because, again, I'm not a tech person. I just do know that, and again, if you're a tech person, maybe you can validate this for me, but I've heard sometimes that when a memory module starts to act up or go bad, that can affect your Photoshop or other softwares too. So that would be, need to be replaced, but you'd have to figure it out if that's it. Uh, the second thing is your graphics card. If your graphics card is acting up or doing something weird, that may have to be replaced, and that could cause some problems. And the last one that I know of, because it happened to me two times in the life of using computers, starting back in the 80s, by the way, is I had to pull this out of my uh, storage room. But if you have any of these type of hard drives, hopefully you don't anymore. This is the old-fashioned with the spinning platters, these do, these do go bad over time and could start to act up, and that could cause a problem. Uh, hopefully, you have solid-state drives. Solid-state drives very rarely ever go bad. Not to say that they won't, but hardly ever compared to the spinning platters and stuff. So, But that could cause a problem if a drive is, is acting up and going bad. That's all I know. I'm not a tech person. So, um, you know, a lot of times I do get sort of the geeky, techy questions I'm not qualified to go there. I'm just saying contact Adobe, but it might be, you know, a hardware problem. You're going to have to have some type of technician or some somebody to come by that knows what they're doing to test your computer and run through some you know, different diagnostics and stuff. So anyhow, that's my two cents. Um, hopefully, you know, I don't have to repeat this again. But um, again, I was happy that the person that was having problems did the four-step process, and they corrected everything for them. So that was a lucky one on that one. All right, so we'll get back to our normal you know, procedure starting Wednesday on my regular videos. I'm working on one coming up uh, that I do once a month on Saturday, the philosophy of a, of a photo artist, uh, and that will be coming out on the 17th of December. Until next time, see ya!